Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mananji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you divine soul watching today's satsang. Today we are covering Sutra number 11 from the Vibhuti Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj. Commentary by my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotir Mananji, and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So let's get started on Sutra number 11. It says, Sarvarthata Ekagratayoha Kshayodayo Chittasya Samadhi Parinamaha. Let's repeat Saravarthata Ekagratayoha Kshayodayo Chittasya Samadhi Parinamaha. So that means all when the all sidedness which means all the distractions of the chitta disappear chitta is your uh, mind senses intellect and ego your unconscious so when the distractions in these uh, places it disappears and the state of one pointedness appears you have been able to control your thoughts in that dimension the chitta is said to undergo modifications of samadhi so here sage patanjali is again reaffirming what we have already covered in the previous sutras so but here they are talking about the different states that we experience so uh, there are the five states of this chitta chitta or our unconsciousness we go through uh, in our subconscious unconscious we go through five states they are called mood kshipta and vikshipta then ekagra and niruddha let's talk about each one very briefly mura is considered a dull state more like in, in a state of inertia and then kshipt means we are in a very distracted state visibly um, unfocused and uh, vikshipt means we are normally sometimes focused but many times unfocused so basically in between state and then ekagra means we are now in a concentrated state we can focus on an object for a while and then niruddha means we are in a perfected state we have automatically cleansed all our impressions not automatically through your self-effort but the result is automatic uh, through uh, you keep on doing it in a systematized way with faith and uh, and discipline uh, so uh, Basically, the first three states of Muda, Shipta and Vikshipta, distracted state, partially distracted state and dull state. Those belong to most people who have not practiced yoga. So this is an acquired skill, just like uh, learning a musical instrument or learning how to swim or uh, learning how to ride a bicycle. All these things take up a lot of patience and time. Uh, well, Samadhi, uh, learning how to attain a meditation and uh, uh, how to find out who am I, why am I here is the is of the same except it is a much higher discipline required to get to that state. So most people generally operate at Muda, Shipta or Vikshipta level and any change within their minds is called Vyutthana Parinama. Vyutthana means agitations and they are going through out uh, outgoing modifications but as one practices samyama dhyana dharana samadhi focus focus then what happens is modifications begin to occur thereby bringing about the replacement of impressions based upon the first three states of chitta they are called um, so the vithana samskaras slowly start to go away and they start getting replaced with pure impressions ekagrata samskaras concentration so therefore it's a acquired effort is required you have you have earned it in other words you have put in so much effort that you have taken out all these uh, impressions of anger greed lust pride all those slowly start to wash away with your pure with your focus of your meditation and your ekagrata samskaras, your ability to do samyama of concentration, meditation, samadhi. So it should be noted that sutra here uh, 9 that we had talked to referred to vyuthana samskaras and nirodha samskaras. 
and uh, vyuthana is agitated uh, samskaras nirodha are purifying ones that are controlling uh, the vyuthana so in this context when asampragyata samadhi is practiced which is the highest samadhi remember all samskaras as, are considered as vyuthana because that is the uh, that is the deepest most subtlest level of samadhi asampragyat so for it everything that is outside of that is considered still vyuthana means or agitation because the goal is to take everything out and reach to that state of purity also called nirvana or liberation all that is that final outcome so for to to reach that state everything outside of that state is still considered agitation so although you were um, deeply um, agitated in the early stages and now the circle keeps on getting smaller and smaller but you have reached to that point where you still need to be at that at that one point where it is a um, ultimate and everything outside of that point is still considered an agitation that is the uh, that is the point that patanjali maharaj is making that although you are highly evolved versus where you were but you still have some distance to go in that end journey end goal so that is what uh, he is saying in this sutra since the state of ekagrata is considered only the first three states are considered to be outgoing while ekagrata is ingoing at each level so once we have achieved that samadhi is automatic effort is intentional so that is what um, the meaning of these sutras are that the force of the impressions um, take out the outgoing impressions that are unproductive for us so therefore um, the essence of these sutras so as you can see these sutras are fairly deep fairly profound and uh, um, hopefully they are giving you hope and encouragement as you um, are becoming a serious um, aspirant on this holy path and uh, if you're enjoying these uh, satsangs please share with as many as you can this is um, spiritual knowledge and the knowledge of our profound scriptures in the sanatana dharma written thousands of years ago these are deep mysteries and anyone who's serious can follow it but you have to have faith and your consistent effort this is swami nikhilananda om tatsat